Hello from Proklima. Anyone who wishes to plan, build or live in a building that will be free from damage should choose a vapor check with an effective hydrosafe value. Hydrosafe? Yes, it sounds complicated, but we will explain what it means in simple terms. Michael Förster, head of technical department, knows the answers. Michael, thanks for being here. What's hydrosafe? In simple terms, it tells you how safe a building element is during the construction phase. Let me start at the beginning. Humidity variable vapor checks can have different resistances to the diffusion of moisture vapor. After all, that's how they protect the building elements. It is important that the spread between humidity variable vapor resistances should be as large as possible. The reason for this is that a vapor check can only offer maximum protection if it is as impermeable as possible in winter meaning that little moisture vapor can enter into elements. On the other hand, it should be very open to diffusion in summer to allow elements to dry out again, when necessary. By the way, materials are regarded as open to diffusion if they have a vapor resistance of under 0.5 meter. Hmm, but what about during construction, for example, when screeds are being poured? There's often a lot of moisture in buildings then. Doesn't this moisture enter into the structure? That would cause damage. What you are referring to is a relatively short period of time. But nonetheless, an important one. Anybody, anyone who has been inside a building just after screed has been installed or the walls have been plastered knows the feeling. It is like being inside a dripstone cave. It's very damp. You can see condensate on relatively cold surfaces, such as here on the window frame. For this reason, there are drops of moisture everywhere on building sites in winter when it is cold outside. Water starts to drip and run off when it gets too much. A humidity variable vapor check must also offer protection against moisture penetration under these conditions. Of course, the vapor check also needs to be sufficiently impermeable. That's all well and good. Sufficiently impermeable is of course a relative concept. What is sufficiently impermeable in specific terms? That's where the hydrosafe value comes into play. It is a very good guide. It specifies the SD value that a humidity variable vapor check must have after screed or plastering work has been done. For example, so that the element is properly protected. The great thing is that this value is standardized. The German wood preservation standard specifies that this value must be between 1.5 and 2.5 meters. And this must hold at a relative humidity of 70%. But the humidity is definitely higher in buildings where screed has just been installed, all the walls have just been plastered, isn't it? There's something wrong here. Yes, your thinking is correct. The value is indeed significantly higher than. It has been measured. The relative humidity ranges between 80 and 90 percent. During the day, the sun heats up the inside of the building and the value is around 80 percent. At night, it can rise to 90 percent. Assume it is night time and the relative humidity is 90 percent in the building. The humidity will be significantly lower, only around 50 percent, in the thermal insulation right behind the vapor check due to its vapor resistance. If we add the two values and take the average, we arrive at an average relative humidity of 70% at the vapor check. This is what the hydrocell value is based on. So according to the standard, a humidity variable vapor check has to have an SD value of at least 1.5 meter at 70% relative humidity. But why should the value not be greater than 2.5 meters. Isn't it better if the membrane is as impermeable as possible? Here we have to take another issue into account. If a membrane is too impermeable, in the case of moisture that results from building work, drying out may be too slow. For this reason, the membrane must also be open to diffusion again, to allow moisture to escape from the building structure. Otherwise, the element will not be reliable in the long term. A hydrosafe value between 1.5 and 2.5 meters provides protection in the case of construction-related moisture and ensures that the structure can dry out properly later, during the normal use. 
The building element then enjoys maximum protection against moisture penetration and performance, performs as intended in the long run. After all, you want peace of mind for the next 50 years or more. Thank you, Michael. And if you have further questions, just contact us per email ask at proclima.com or follow us on Twitter at proclima.